Good morning, good morning, good morning, everybody. How are you doing? Great. So uh, I'm Rohini Rao. I'm from Bangalore. Uh, I know we have students from all over the country today. So do let me know which city or which town are you from? And let, let us see where we have our students from today. I'm really, really excited to see you all in this live class. Very happy to see you here. Great. Awesome. So we have students from different, different cities. Wow. First, we have Kashmir, Sonipat, Goa, Hyderabad, Bhopal, Ranchi, Hyderabad. Awesome. Maharashtra, Karnataka. Hello, Karnataka. Nice to see you. Uh, Haryana, Goa again, Madhya Pradesh, Jaipur. Awesome. Awesome. So in this profession, we meet people from different cities, different states, different countries, different cultures, backgrounds. This is the most exciting part of our profession, right? So uh, help me understand, since when did you want to join this profession, uh, whether be it cabin crew or airport staff? Uh, where, was it since school or was it a recent plan that you have made for yourself? Uh, do let me know in the chat room, since when did you want to join this profession in the awesome industry of aviation? A lot of you, uh, I understand that you've been wanting to do this since you were in school, some of you since primary school, some of you since high school, and uh, some students, uh, you know, they just they would have heard it from their friends recently and then they walk into my office and uh, yeah that that also happens so yes we have ninth standard childhood seventh standard fourth standard wow 10th standard awesome awesome so very nice uh, today we will be discussing a lot of things uh, regarding how to prepare yourself for this job and also how to apply online okay i will show you a live demonstration on how to apply uh, for your resume online uh, today i will be showing a de live demonstration of qatar airways okay uh, now before we begin um, i want to tell you don't get scared okay it is not something impossible if you look at me i am a girl just like you all, okay? I don't have perfect hair. I don't have perfect skin. I don't have perfect teeth. You can see life, okay? It is embarrassing for me to show it, but I, I just don't want you to get fear, to get scared, okay? I don't want you to have any fear. I also did not have the perfect communication skills. I did not know how to swim, okay? But these are the things I learned and I improved for myself to achieve the dreams that I have achieved today. Okay, you have to work hard. You have to invest in the right things, right products, uh, maybe learn swimming. You might have to see a dentist if your upper teeth, if, if it is uh, coming forward or it is not straight. Um, I had put braces for my upper teeth as well. I had to do that. So don't, don't uh, think of it as something that is stopping you. If you have a dream, you have to believe in yourself. You have to tell yourself that no matter what, I will improve myself and I will achieve my dream. Okay. Now I will show you my journey as to how I started and where I am today. Uh, don't mistake me. I'm not trying to show off. Okay. I'm just uh, trying to show you that it is possible. I am also a girl just like you all. Okay. So let me share my screen quickly. Okay, so as you can see here, I started my journey when I was 18 years old. When I was 17 years old, I did a diploma in aviation management from Air Hostess Academy in Bangalore. Um, those days, the courses were very, very expensive. 
uh i remember it was quite difficult but uh, it uh, i was lucky that at least i had very good trainers the trainers had international cabin crew and training experience they trained me very well and as soon as the training got over i got placed with indigo airlines as a cabin crew uh, those were uh, very very good days i'm very happy i could get that job uh, from there uh, as i keep telling you all this is just a starting phase okay to join the airline is a small goal from there you should have higher goals you have to keep improving yourself and keep growing in your life okay so in indigo airlines i became an i coach that is an on board coach any newcomers who were joining the airline i had to train them as to what are the procedures on board and and after that i moved to etihad airways uh, i can assure you those were the best days of my life uh, i could travel around the world i traveled to countries where i had never even heard the names of those countries uh, i ate food of you know i had never knew such things exist i saw so many places i met beautiful people i made friends for life from different countries uh, i really really hope that you all get an opportunity to become an international cabin crew it is not impossible all you have to get is the right kind of hard work and time that you need to invest here okay so after etihad airways i moved uh, i became a trainer uh, i had to put a lot of hard work more than one year i worked hard to get this uh, promotion it's the etihad airways innovate innovation center uh, in the etihad airways innovation center it is not just um, etihad cabin crew who take training uh, also the subsidiaries that is alitalia uh air serbia air mauritius all these airlines also used to come to etihad airways innovation center to get trained so i learned how to provide aviation training from there so i'm very thankful to etihad airways for that uh, after that i i got selected for a mentoring program from uh, uh, indian institute of management bangalore where i learned how Uh, how to run a business because i was an air hostess uh, i didn't know how to open an academy or do anything uh, i wanted to do it with a good intention not to not to make a lot of money that is not my goal uh, i wanted to give the best training possible so i learned it from indian institute of management bangalore it's a very prestigious institution and i started ambara aviation academy this is my dream uh i i will soon show you pictures of my office you might have seen it in the background in the training videos and uh during the pandemic uh, i was preparing for it already and during the pandemic i launched it uh the ambara online training uh, program we have students from all over india and uh, thanks to my team i'm also able to provide free training uh to students who cannot afford training and for students who are willing to take some paid training we have uh, a training at very low prices we'll talk about it later um so these are some of my achievements i have received the pride of karnataka award uh from the state a corporate diva award uh, i was the jet airways ambassador in etihad airways uh that that was uh, i was very happy that i got selected i've been published in certain newspapers tv channels so these are some of my achievements and apart from that uh, here i'm talking about toastmasters club akshay patra foundation lions club so these are some things that you might have heard of okay these are not just my achievements these are things i did to build my profile now a lot of students ask me i am a fresher i don't have any work experience what shall i write okay what i can recommend is do join some social activity clubs in your neighborhood i am sure there will be lions club rotary club akshay patra club akshay patra foundation uh, they have uh, youth clubs uh there'll be toastmasters club like this there are a lot of clubs find out in your neighborhood what clubs are available where you can do some social uh, service activities get certificate from the club and you can show it as volunteer experience it is very very good for your profile okay here you can see uh, my dream here 
my classrooms the ambara aviation academy we have an aircraft uh, theme so uh, so that the students can learn how aircraft are i've tried my best to build an aircraft uh, shape theme in the classrooms so i hope to see you all some day maybe if you if you come to bangalore we also provide training online this is my lovely team uh so about me you already know this is christina ma'am she is a senior communication skills trainer uh she was a cabin crew with spice jet and uh, kingfisher airlines we have pavitra ma'am who is with etihad airways uh, she is a ground uh, ground staff for airport service trainer and a communication skills trainer as well we have heena nagpal ma'am she is a cabin crew with swiss air and she is also an aviation german trainer uh, ankita ma'am uh, with saudi arabian airlines uh, she is a certified yoga trainer in uh, in our training we provide german training yoga training makeup training that's why we have uh, people from various backgrounds and last but not the least we have maheshwari ma'am uh, she is from qatar airways and uh, she is a certified makeup artist okay now some of the students ask me how should i choose a trainer or what academy should i go to first thing is uh, be careful from frauds okay i will not tell you everybody is a fraud but uh, a lot of people out there they themselves will not have international cabin crew experience uh, they might not even be cabin crew some of the trainers i have come across such institutions uh, so please please first check if the person who is teaching you in any academy if you are about to join uh, cross check if they have international cabin crew experience if they have training experience if they have certification to provide training just because you are a cabin crew doesn't automatically make you a trainer you have to learn how to become a trainer we have certifications for that so please please check all this um, be careful don't spend a lot of money all right and uh, let me quickly show you a roster uh, so this is a time table of a cabin crew you can see this is my uh, 2013 2013 september okay here what you can see is flight uh, abu dhabi to manchester it is a 16 hour layover 16 hours i had to spend there and i came back to manchester next day it is abu dhabi london uh in london i had 36 hours that is one and a half days and uh, that's it and i come back to abu dhabi two days off then i had a standby uh and then off so as you can see from october 7th to october 14th i had no duty and then i went to manila manila is in philippines uh, i had 32 hours there almost one and a half days again came back to abu dhabi uh this is uh, almost two days off october 18th i reached at 2 in the morning uh, so that is friday saturday off sunday uh, early morning i went to kuala lumpur 27 hours that is one day came back and uh, bombay there is no layover so this is how a roster will be you will hardly work for 60 to 70 hours in a month and um, uh you you get to travel like you can see so many continents i think in this picture you can't see uh there is also a melbourne flight that is australia so almost four to five uh, three to four con uh, continents you can see in one month uh again it is not easy at the same time it is not impossible so please work hard guys work hard and achieve your dream okay uh, the reason i shared my profile with you is to show you that a girl just like you can achieve this so you can also achieve it okay so this is my flagship course diploma in aviation management i will talk about it later uh, today mainly we'll be talking about the interview process okay what happens first is you have to submit your resume and photo online in the airline website okay don't go through any agents don't pay money to anybody the only way to submit your resume is the airline website for example indigo go indigo.com/careers qatar airways.com/careers don't worry i will give you the link to the original websites uh, apply only there you have to submit your resume and your photo i will show you how you should take your uh resume and photo 
second uh, they might call you for an interview they will check your height and your weight uh, for height there is a minimum you must be at least 155 cm if you're slightly short by 2 or 3 cm don't worry uh, you can if you're still young you can do a lot of stretching exercises basically you should be able to reach 212 cm okay you should be able to stand and reach 212 cm uh, without wearing heeled shoes and weight uh, should be moderate okay they check your bmi uh, they are not very particular about it as long as you are not very thin or very fat don't worry about it um after that you will have your english test your english communication skills will be checked here this is high school uh, grammar level don't worry you don't have to uh, uh, have a accent or sound like a foreigner it is very simple high school level english grammar and after that you will have either jam sessions or group discussion jam session means just a minute okay any one topic simple topic will be given to you for example it could be customer service okay speak about customer service for one minute or speak about your city for one minute okay these are called jam sessions or you might have group discussions you might have experience group discussions in your college or anywhere it is very simple they'll give one topic and ask you to discuss about it for 5 uh, to 10 minutes okay and then you will have your final interview yesterday in your syllabus uh, i'm sure you saw what kind of interview questions will be asked how you should answer it i have given you notes for all those things so do do practice okay now let's see what your resume should have or uh, you should have an objective this is the first thing this should be personalized for each and every airline uh you, you should not have one resume which you submit in all the airlines okay for each and every airline you must have a personalized uh, resume with an objective education as we already discussed plus 2 okay plus 2 is minimum to become cabin crew experience it is not mandatory for freshers however as i told you earlier if you can get any kind of volunteer experience through any club or your college clubs do try to gain this kind of experience which is related to leadership team work or customer service even part time jobs even if you are teaching tuitions any kind of work experience will be considered okay achievements again this is not mandatory but if you have achievements do mention it in your resume hobbies and interests uh please don't write singing dancing these kind of things uh, if you like reading if you like traveling if you have traveled uh, do mention this uh, skills and strengths these are your soft skills uh, i have given you notes about soft skills team building skills creative thinking problem solving leadership skills uh, you must learn these skills and let them know in your resume what are your skills and personal details is your name date of birth passport number uh, passport date of expiry where you are from okay now a lot of you ask me is passport mandatory yes 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 passport is mandatory it is a traveling job it is not very difficult to get a passport uh, you just have to fill an online application form you need certain documents that is your 10th marks card identity proof address proof photo that's it okay you'll get an appointment go to your nearest passport office get your passport done uh, i think in 15 or 20 days you will get it so uh, do get your uh, passport done if you don't have it yet now this is how you should pose for your photo okay uh, you must be neatly dressed wearing a formal shirt half sleeve uh, a skirt okay up to your mid uh, knee you must wear stockings on your legs you must wear 3 uh, to 4 inches high heel shoes uh, your hair must be neatly tied into a bun you have received a video on how you should tie a simple bun you must have basic makeup on don't get stressed simple makeup is enough a lipstick eyeliner put some compact put some blusher on wear a pearl uh, earring if possible or don't wear any dangling sparkling earrings pearl earring you might get it for 10 15 rupees also near your house get it and um, that's it okay very simple don't get it complicated look straight into the camera if you are not able to go to a studio you can even take it from your phone and upload it for now okay 
Uh, now height, as you can see, 212 centimeters. You don't have to be 212 centimeters. You should be able to touch 212 centimeters, okay? And your BMI must be 18 to 25. Now, uh, we will share a link on how to check your BMI. It is in our website, flyambara.com, uh, cabin crew BMI. Okay, go to the blog section. You will get it. You can put your height and weight. You will get your BMI. Uh, most of you will be in the weight range. You are all still young. So don't worry about it. Okay. Now coming to tattoos. Uh, for gentlemen in this area, if you have tattoos in the dark black area, if you have tattoos, uh, sorry, this is for ladies. Okay. No problem. If it is covered, uh, for example, you can see what I'm wearing. If it is covered, if the tattoo is here, here, no problem. If the tattoo is visible in any of these areas on your neck, on your face, on your hands, then uh, it is not allowed either. You will have to remove it or you have to choose a different profession. I'm sorry about it. That is an airline rule. Uh, for gentlemen, uh, you will be wearing full pants, no problem. As long as it is not on your arm or neck, uh, no problem. Okay. So... That's about it. And uh, sorry. Let us again check the eligibility. Okay. So uh, two sets, domestic and international. Domestic cabin crew are the cabin crew hired in India. This does not mean that you will not travel international. You will also travel to international destinations but you are hired in India, okay? These are domestic cabin crew. For this, you must be 18 years older, minimum 18 years. Uh, 10 plus two should be passed when you apply for your, uh, when you go to the interview, or at least when you get your appointment letter, your Hindi and English should be fluent. Now, a lot of you tell me my English is not fluent, my Hindi is not fluent. You have to learn, okay? It is not impossible. You have to learn. I will share some tips with you, but you have to learn. Uh, height minimum 155 centimeters. Weight, I, I told you, you have to check your BMI. And you should have soft skills. Your grooming should be good. Makeup should be good. Positive body language, okay? This is not impossible. Again, for international, the only difference is 21 years of age, okay? 21 years of age, uh, height is okay. You As long as you can reach 212 centimeters, rest everything is the same. Okay. So now let me show you for international airlines, how you should dress up for your interview. Okay. Hair must be neatly. You should comb your hair, put a, uh, put a hair bun. Okay. For your face, basic makeup, uh, foundation, Eyeshadow, eyeliner, mascara, lipstick, blusher. Okay, don't get it complicated. It is very simple. In the training materials, you can go back to day four and check all the uh, makeup, minimum mandatory makeup is mentioned. Uh, you can either wear a half sleeve shirt or a full blazer. Okay, uh, stick to colors like black uh, or uh, dark brown or gray color. Okay, try to stick to this or even navy blue is also okay. And shoe, you must have a small high heel shoe. You must be wearing stockings, uh, wear neat nail polish, uh, either uh, beige color, pink color, red color. Uh, these are okay. Don't wear blue or green color or purple color. Have basic colors, pink, beige, cream, uh, red. Okay, try to stick to these colors. Now for gentlemen, your hair must be neatly trimmed. Please don't have long hair. Apply hair gel if required, depending on your hair type. Get a nice haircut and uh, you must be neatly shaven. You must wear a blazer, a tie, uh, wear a watch even for ladies, wear a formal watch and shoes. For gentlemen, be careful. Your socks must be matching with your shoes. Okay. Now, what are the benefits if you join an airline? Okay, this is, I'm in Emirates website here, as you can see, starting salary and flying pay. Okay, basic salary, 4260 dirhams, flying pay, 61 dirhams per hour. Okay, so first you get a basic salary. Additional to that, for every hour that you fly, you get extra money per hour basis. 
So average is 9,770 dirhams. Okay, this is an average. Uh, I think around 10, 10 to 11,000 pressures earn. Uh, however, they have mentioned the bare minimum here. Uh, for those of you who don't know how to convert currency, I have kept this ready here. Uh, this is today's live conversion. Uh, this is on uh, xc.com. As you can see, 9,770 dirhams is equal to 1,97,665 rupees. Okay, this is the salary of a fresher. So as attractive as it is, please keep in mind, there is a lot of competition for this. Uh, it is an awesome job. You get to travel, you get to earn money, you get to you get a lot of benefits so everybody is going to be applying for this so you get layover benefits okay you get uh, you get to stay in five star hotels five star accommodations uh, the cab will be provided by the company on top of it to eat food during layovers uh, you will also get extra money from the company for that okay you will get extra salary for that concessional travel this is also called staff travel uh, for example, when I used to travel from Abu Dhabi to Bangalore, it used to cost me only 2000 rupees. Okay, you can travel anywhere in the world, wherever the airline travels, you have to pay only 10%, only 10% of the ticket uh, amount. So this is one of the best and this is not just for yourself, you get it for your family as well. That is your parents and your brother, sister, or if you're married, uh, your spouse and children can also use this. Um, uh, yes, uh, about this, a lot of people ask me, uh, what about uh, after you get married? Can you still work? Of course, you can work up to 60 years of age. Okay. Now, there are two things to apply. Your age must be between 18 to 27. Okay. When you join as a fresher, between 18 to 27 years is the window to apply. After you get the job, up to 60 years of age, you can fly, okay? Now, flying as a fresher is an entry job. In the span of 30, 40 years, you get a lot of promotions. So you can either move to head office, corporate office, or you can take promotion in the flying uh, field as well. Accommodation, furnished accommodation, free of charge. Uh, this is in the Emirates website I'm showing you just uh, so that it's clear. Okay, you get water, electricity, all this will be free. Uh, telephone bills will not be paid by the company. You have to pay. Okay, all these things will be taken care by the airline. Transport is given by them. Uniform dry cleaning charges is uh, given by the airline and you get 30 days of leave per year. Okay, per year you get 30 days leave and one free annual ticket to go home okay so this is how you uh, this these are some of the benefits now what happens first is your cv review just to do a quick revision then you'll have your assessment height reach test or your english test and your final interview okay so all i have prepared you for all this right how to write your uh, uh, cv how to take your photo uh, uh, about group discussion, maybe next time we can do maybe a class on Zoom and see how we can prepare. Height and weight test, English test. Uh, I will be giving you some uh, tips today on how to prepare yourself. And your final interview, I have given you almost all the questions that you need. Okay. All right. So now let's go to... Okay, now um, let me start with two things. Okay, first I will be giving you tips on how to prepare, uh, how to improve your communication skills. Now to improve your communication skills, now you should already know basic English. Okay, if, if you do not know English at all, if you're not able to understand what I'm speaking, it is going to be a little difficult for you. Um, if you already know English, you can speak basic English. Uh, if you can read and write English, then um, these tips will be helpful for you. The main reason our English communication skills are weak is because we do not speak in English. We do not communicate with anybody in English. 
we tell ourselves that oh i don't know english and we don't speak english okay so what is the solution for this face your fear okay you have to speak in english only that is the only only way to come out of this problem okay so i will teach you a, a 30 days rule okay i'm going to teach you something now you have to implement it for the next 30 days okay for the next 30 days you have to spend 90 minutes 90 minutes every day to see the magic in the end of 30 days okay first every day 30 minutes you have to read something in english okay either read a book or uh, read newspaper or read anything in the internet read a blog okay read something for 30 minutes i know that you all know how to read so it is possible okay it will really really improve you will see drastic changes in the end of 30 days okay first first is read for 30 days second is listen okay listen to somebody who speaks in english for 30 minutes every day for 30 days that is either watch a tv show uh, an american or uh, british tv show or listen to news or uh, listen to any youtube videos where they where this where they speaking proper english okay 30 minutes you should listen and 30 minutes you must speak either speak to your friend speak to your cousin speak to your relatives at home or just speak and record it in a video or your whatsapp audio anywhere okay read listen speak read listen speak 30 minutes each 90 minutes every day if you do this i am i am assuring you 100% you will see magical results at the end of 30 days now in the chat room can you tell me if somebody wants to achieve something in life what are the what are the things that they have to do for example uh, this we got olympics gold medal we got olympic silver medal what do they need to do is it possible by just telling oh i can't run i am not strong i don't have money by telling this can you get a olympics gold medal what should you do yes right you have to work hard you have to work smart you have to dedicate you have to practice you have to be determined you must have passion in what you are doing okay hard work plus smart work very good so similarly i have given you a smart solution read for 30 minutes listen for 30 minutes and speak for 30 minutes okay in the end of 30 days you are definitely going to see magical results okay yes uh, for those burning desire okay now uh, that is one way other way is get a coach okay get somebody who can teach you all these things to make your dream come true okay uh, now again when i was uh, talking to you before if you go to any institute i am not telling you that all the institutes are fake but i can tell you 90% of the institutes in india are waste the the trainers they don't know what they are teaching they themselves uh, could not get a job as international cabin crew uh, i don't know on what basis they think that they can come and teach okay so if you want to find yourself a trainer first thing do did they achieve your dream first okay if they themselves did not achieve they cannot help you achieve it okay so if you think that you need some kind of training go look for a good coach who can help you out who will help you uh, you know come across all the fears or the weaknesses that you have who can fix all these things for you now if you are from bangalore you are welcome to walk into our institute anytime Uh, we do have three months courses. The prices are very very low. Uh, I don't charge lakhs of rupees like other institute because I am doing this for passion, not just to make money. Okay, I, this is not a business for me. It is it is my passion to teach aviation because whatever I am today, I have achieved it because of the aviation. So this is my way of giving back. Okay, so if you are from Karnataka or Bangalore, if you wish to. receive training you're welcome you can come to our institute 
Uh, if you are not from Bangalore also, uh, we do provide online training. A lot of people think that how can you teach a host this training online? Okay, I do get this question a lot. Don't worry, even in the classroom, we do teach using PowerPoint presentations. Okay, I have received training for several years on how to teach and how to teach online as well. So I have devised a training uh, plan accordingly. So um, as you can see here, uh, you will never find this anywhere in the world. Okay, 25,000 rupees, you will not get fees anywhere. Uh, this is for online classes. The classes will be live on Zoom. We have both morning and evening classes available. Um, so what you will be learning here is you will be learning 10 subjects, 10 core subjects. You will be receiving 10 separate certificates. Okay, You will receive 10 certificates separately from our side. Most importantly, you will learn aviation management. This is both for cabin crew and airport staff, you will learn everything that you need. Communication skills, the most challenging subject for most of our students uh, to improve your English, to pass the interview or even in the future, okay? Now, this is not just to pass the interview. You really need to have good communication skills to succeed in life uh, in this century, okay? Grooming, we have expert makeup artists. Uh, who will be training you on what products suit your skin, what color, what kind of hairstyle suit you. Uh, we do give personalized attention and make sure we teach you everything that you need to learn about grooming. We make you do a lot of team building activities. We teach you uh, because in airlines, team building, extremely important. English for aviation, very, very important, especially for students who are weak in English. Yoga and meditation, very important. This is not just to lose or gain weight. This is to work with your mindset. Your mind has to be strong to achieve success in life. Uh, again, customer service skills, extremely important for the aviation industry. Email and telephone etiquettes. Uh, I don't know why some people don't think this is important. This is very, very important. For example, just imagine the airline, uh, if you have got shortlisted, they might send you an email or they might give you a call. If you don't know how to speak professionally, how to reply to a mail professionally, you will lose your chances of getting selected even if your resume was shortlisted. So this is a very important subject. Of course, personality development, very important. And German language, you will be learning basic German language. This is not compulsory, uh, but if you want to join international airlines, especially KLM, Swiss Air, Lufthansa, it is mandatory. And airlines like Etihad, um, Etihad, Qatar, Emirates, Saudi Arabian Airlines, if you know these languages, you will have an added advantage. And the most important resume and interview skills for three months, we will be working with you to make sure you get the perfect resume and you get the perfect answers for your interview skills. We will get uh, we will get some cabin crew who are currently working with different airlines, make them do mock interviews with you to make sure that the end of three months of training that you get from our academy, you will be the best candidate to get selected in the interview. Now, I want to give you uh, one more important information. You must be 12th pass minimum or you should have appeared for 12th this year. You must know basic English, have a pleasing personality and you must have dedication. OK, if you expect me to do all your work, it is not possible. I will teach. You have to learn. I will give you assignment. You have to learn and complete the assignment. If I give you exam, if I give you interview test, you have to prepare, okay? It is not a one-sided business. It is a two-sided business. You and I, both of us, will work hard for you to get your dream job, okay? It is my dream also for you to get your dream job. So anybody who's joining, be very, very careful. Uh, as I mentioned earlier, our trainers are all trainers who have international flying experience. All our trainers are from international airlines, okay? Uh, the fees is very, very low, 25,000 plus GST. You will not get this fees anywhere in the world. 
and you're going to learn a lot of things uh, our placement records have been very very good uh, most or not most i can say all of our students who have worked hard have got placed so if you need further help uh, you are welcome to join and if you have um, somebody is asking uh, you are a student of frank fin okay now personally i do not uh, speak about any institute all i can say is before you join please check meet the trainer okay don't meet the admission officer meet the trainer and check for their certificate do they really have certificate to provide training was that person an international cabin crew please check and you don't have to spend lakhs of rupees on your training this training is not so expensive so be very careful about that okay and uh, apart from this i will not be commenting about any institute all i can say is uh, be careful about your time and money uh, we have come to the end of this uh, if you have any doubts or questions feel free to ask me or you can share your experience how did you feel in this five days of training um what more can i do i'm working on uh, redoing the material the, the training material so if you want me to add any subjects for the free training i will be redoing it and sharing it with you so if you have any doubts or questions feel free to ask me uh after taking two months training direct we have chance to fly yes of course if you take training you you will increase your opportunities to get the job it will help you a uh, free st fee structure is only 25000 rupees okay uh bba aviation uh it is a new subject uh, again at the end you will get the same job even after 3 years course you get the same job even after 3 months course you get the same job so it is up to you and uh, i have 154 cm maybe if you do some stretching exercises it is possible you are almost there not a problem uh, one of my student who was 1 154 cm has got placed in indigo airlines uh, is there any branch no we do not have any branches that is the reason why we are giving uh, uh, online classes okay you can just log in through zoom it will be uh, i'm sure you you all would have used zoom now uh, since the pandemic it will be a live interactive classes um i'm from karnataka can i come to bangalore yes of course you can come to bangalore uh by taking online classes yes you can be cabin crew uh, there is an application form i will be sharing it with you if you are interested speak to your parents and fill the application form uh, first speak to your parents okay let them know that you are interested in this career and uh, you want to take this training you can talk to them fill the application form we will have a trial class in the trial class you can invite your parents you can see how the classes will be and later you can decide um so with placements yes of course it it is our 100% responsibility to do your placements a uh, zoom id will be shared for those who are joining the classes only and uh, somebody is asking could online classes really make you a cabin crew see it doesn't matter whether it is online or offline okay you must learn how you should present yourself in the interview emirates airlines the entire interview process is online qatar airways entire interview process is online so it is online or offline mainly how you dress up how you answer interview questions it can be done both online and offline don't worry about it uh i am 54 am i capable of international airlines yes of course i am 53 so i got an international cabin crew job don't worry um thank you thank you so if you are interested i will be sharing an application form uh in your whatsapp group you can fill the form we will do a trial class and uh, we can uh, uh, we can get in touch okay uh can we get to know about interview in karnataka of course wherever there are interviews in india we will be uh we will be posting that on our website and our instagram page follow our instagram page and uh, you can you can know about all the interview processes so that's it for today guys thank you very very much uh, there is one last question what about physical practical uh see for 
airline interview training you don't need any physical training i know that you see some videos online of other institutes please understand airline will teach you everything all you need to learn is how to pass the interview okay you need to learn how to pass the interview so do you don't need any uh, physical training for that don't worry uh, can you show a cv yes in the group i will share a model cv with you you can use it as reference if you're coming to bangalore you you might have to stay in a pg we have lot of pgs nearby however we do not provide pgs in our institute uh, but there are lot of uh, other uh, pgs here we will help you with that and uh, can you be fluent in german yes we will be teaching you german uh, if you work hard you can be fluent of course you can be fluent um okay first attempt if they reject yes first attempt if they reject first is prepare well okay don't get rejected believe in yourself if you are confident you will not get rejected i have never got rejected in any interview okay but yes if you get rejected you can apply in other airlines you can apply in other airlines and in the same airline you can apply after 6 months yes cabin crew resume i will share in, in the group uh, so that's it for today thank you very very much for coming uh, i will share the um, exam link with you today all the best for your exam it is very very simple it is just like the five day training however you went through the exam will be same please make sure that your name is filled properly in capitals okay write your email address correctly if your email address is wrong you will not receive your certificate please cross check your uh, email id before you submit so full name email id and then you attempt your exam 10 minutes later go to your email check your email you would have received your certificate take a screenshot of your certificate post it on your instagram tag me um and uh, i would love to see your certificates i'm very very happy that i could uh, share whatever experience i could absolutely free of cost with you uh, throughout this five or six days and uh, uh, i hope that if you are interested if you're passionate you can join my 3 months training i will be working with you personally for 3 months to make sure that you get your dream job so if you are interested fill the application form and uh, we will do a trial class if you are comfortable with the trial class then we will go ahead uh, do the admission process and we will start the classes with you uh, thank you very much all the best work very hard whether you take my 3 months training or not no problem but work very very hard i want to see you in your uniform working in an airline meet me in an airport thank you very very much okay uh somebody is asking tell me again about the screenshot nothing you will get an email with your certificate you can either download it or take a screenshot and share it on instagram and tag our page okay thank you very much uh yes five days exam will be uh, i will be sharing it in the group very very soon bye bye for now